The following tutorial will cover how to create a genotype in Ficant. Once you have added the genes that you need to curate from your publication, and there is a tutorial that explains this in more detail, then the following step is to create genotypes for these genes. So in this example, I will be showing how to create a wild type allele, a deletion allele, and an overexpressor allele for the RAF peptide of Fusarium graminarium. What you need to do is go to the pathogen genotype management in this case, click on it, and here you have the two genes that you have added for this pathogen. So I said I was going to be creating a genotype for Ralph, and this is the first entry. So I will start by creating a deletion allele. So I just click on it. It shows me the strains that I have added. In this case, there's just by one, and I say OK. And now the allele has been created. As you can see here on the right, is the deletion allele that I've created and I can edit the information about it. So I just go into the details and I can put in a short name. I can add a background, for example, if there is a fluorescent tag or a tag for um, protein purification, some comments. Once you have created a deletion allele, the next thing you want to do is change its name so that it, it follows the notation here in Ficanto. For that, just go into edit details and here where you see haploid alleles again go to edit and just change the name in this case to Ralph and keep the delta because uh, that indicates that it is a del deletion allele just click on OK and then finish and as you can see now uh, it has the notation that we use here in Ficanto. Another thing that you should do is request for Uniprot to update this entry so that it reflects this name. So then just go into the Uniprot web page and then go to their help section and get in touch and just write them an email asking them to update that entry so that in this case the name Ralph appears with it. When you use the deletion allele button here, it will create a no deletion allele. If you'd like to curate a partial deletion, for example, then you would have to go to other genotype, to type in here the allele name, and then choose the type. For example, partial deletion nucleotide or partial deletion amino acid. So, for example, you click in here and then for the deletion alleles, it will ask you to specify the deleted residues. And then what you need to tell the system is whether you've assessed the expression level for this allele and if it is an overexpression, a wild type product level, a knockdown, or if you haven't tested this. Also, in other genotypes, you have the options to add information when you do amino acid insertion, substitutions, combination of these things, also when you have partial deletions and also amino acid changes, transformants for example, and if none of these options fits the genotype that you want to annotate, then you can always click on other and put in a little name and a little description and once again you will be prompted to tell the level of expression of this allele. Usually, when creating a deletion allele or overexpressor or some other type of allele, you generally require a wild type to make the comparisons later on as you start filling uh, more information about these genotypes. So you can do this by just clicking on wild type. Again, you'll be prompted to select the strain that you used. And in this case, once again, the expression level, if this has been assayed. In this case, I'm going to put wild type product level and then I click on OK. And here I can see on the right the wild type wild type allele. Again, once you have created the wild type allele, you should change its name so that it goes along with the notation that we use here in Ficanto. So just go to edit details, uh, go to the haploid alleles section and just type Ralph and leave the plus sign and click on OK. In order to create the overexpression allele, just click on wild type but this time choose overexpression level, click on OK, and you have the overexpression allele here. We're just going to edit uh, the details uh, so that the name reflects the notation that we use in Ficanto, just like we did for the other two alleles before. And we go again to hapl haploid alleles and just change this so that it says rough and then finish. Now we have our three alleles here, the deletion, the wild type and the overexpression. Um, you can always delete any of them. If you made a mistake, just click here on delete. Or for example, let's say you have 
two deletions into different genes, and then you have a genotype that has those deletions at the same time, then you can just, for example, click here, and let's say this is the second deletion allele, click here, and then just select combine deselected genotypes. And now you have created a multi locus genotype that reflects these two um, deletions that are together. Similar process is needed when creating a host genotype management. Just click on the option. If you have more than one host, then you will have to select the host that you want to create the genotype for. In this case, for example, uh, for wheat. And here you have all of the genes that I've added already. And then once again, just create a deletion, the wild type allele, or another type of genotype that is what you have. If you need more help, just go to our help section and then go on to creating genotypes, where you will have more detailed information about this topic. And you can always contact us if you have specific queries.